Hi. So today we are going to discuss about uh, the human blood. It is most precious. We all know that, and it is you can't make it anywhere. It is limited resource available. We need to share it with each other. That's it. So this, when it comes to the human blood, many people may not know that what is the importance of RBC cells and the different type of cells which is present in the blood. So when it comes to the blood, let us straight away come to the topic. If you see that on an average Indian human being in the Indian subcontinents, we have as per our own racial uh, issues, we have around 4 to 4.5 liters of blood. Out of that, more than 60 percentage it goes for the plasma and the remaining 40 percentage it goes for the blood cells, blood copper cells, they call it as. So there are three different type of cells. One is RBC, another one is WBC and the third is uh, platelets. So let me discuss only about the RBC cells now. So if you take RBC cells are very very minute cells and uh, they contain the red color pigment called hemoglobin. This hemoglobin, heme means it is an iron. If you split the hemoglobin into two, hemoglobin, if you split into two, heme means iron, globin is the protein. These iron contents are very much necessary for us. What is the duty done by the iron contents? Say normally for a human survival, we are all surviving it. On what basis we are telling it? We are breathing. So when we are breathing, we need an oxygen. We are taking the oxygen. That oxygen goes to the lung. And this oxygen need to be supplied to each and every cells of our body. We have billions of cells in our body. So these oxygen supply, the task is taken care of by these RBC. These are, if the RBC cells are less, or if the hemoglobin contents are less, naturally what happens, even though you are breathing normally, your oxygen supply to billions of cells will be very poor. So normally if you go to the blood test, for a healthy man, uh, the RBC content as well as the hemoglobin content, particularly if you see that, it should be around 13 to 16 grams per 100 ml of blood. Hemoglobin content, HP content should be 13 to 16 grams per 100 ml of blood. Suppose if the person is having less than 13, or if it goes less than 9, normally the medical terms are normally the doctors used to say that if the HP contents are less than 9, the person will be considered as an anemic patient. Anemic means what? They will be always lethargic, always tired and uh, what you call always feel sleepy, their concentrations are poor, they can't focus on their job and a lot of other, lot of uh, what you call extra headaches. So how will you improve this? We need to focus on HP content. That HP content can be improved through proper diet, protein rich diet, you should go for the protein rich diet and overnight you can't improve the HP contents. Over a period of time if you sustain the proper healthy diet for a 6 months to 1 year, then you can improve the HP contents. If the HP contents are good, what does it mean? Whatever oxygen you are breathing in, the entire oxygen is supplied healthy manner for entire billions of cells in your body. So each and every cells in your body, it takes huge amount of oxygen. And if you see that particularly, out of 80% of oxygen, whatever we are breathing in, our brain, neurons need huge amount of oxygen and it is only oxygen they need. Only the remaining 2% it goes our rest of our body. So our brain functions are totally depends on your oxygen intake and oxygen intake is totally depends on your RBC cells. RBC functions are totally depends on the hemoglobin content. Hemoglobin content is purely depends on your healthy diet. So please do focus on your healthy diet, do your healthy lifestyles and uh, live happily.